virtually any kind of cells in the body. For example, if we put a stem cell in the brain, it becomes a brain cell. If we put it in the liver, it becomes a liver cell. If we put it in the pancreas, it becomes a pancreatic cell, and so on and so forth. We thought that if stem cells have the ability of becoming other types of cells, then it had to be a natural process with a purpose. So we proposed that stem cells constituted the natural renewal system of the body. And we published this view in the journal Medical Hypotheses. It is now well accepted that indeed stem cells do constitute the natural renewal system of the body. Whenever a tissue or organ is subjected to stress, a whole process of renewal takes place in the body to help restore optimal health. Soon after the incident, the affected tissue releases specific messengers that travel through the blood to the bone marrow. When they get there, they induce cellular division. In this process, anytime one stem cell is released into the blood circulation, a sister cell remains in the bone marrow, maintaining a constant population of stem cells in the bone marrow. Slowly, the number of stem cells increases in the blood. Soon after, the tissue in need releases different messengers that attract those stem cells. When they circulate in the affected tissue and encounter these messengers, they stop in the blood flow and migrate out of the blood. Once in the tissue, the stem cells travel to the site of damage. Once there, the stem cells begin to multiply in order to amplify the process of renewal to finally become functional cells of that tissue. Every stem cell has the potential of becoming a few thousand specific tissue cells. 